Well, South Carolina getting set for its first round matchup in the NCAA tournament tomorrow against Oregon. Fox Carolina's Carmen Jame caught up with a young man who's been on both sides in both teams of this game. South Carolina getting ready for its first NCAA tournament game in seven years. The Gamecocks a six seed playing against 11 seed Oregon. And on Oregon, a familiar face for Gamecocks fans, Jermaine Kuznard. He played three years at South Carolina, then transferred to Oregon. Now this is his second year with the program, and he just made all Pac-12 with the Ducks. So I caught up with the former Gamecock about how he feels about this matchup. Jermaine, you were saying before that it's bittersweet to play against South Carolina being your old team. What are the bitter parts and what are the sweet parts if you had to put those into work? Like they think it's like like some type of like bad blood, but which is not it was it's like that that I grew there. Like I learned everything about myself there. I was it was uh, like a crazy journey for me. Like I was, like when I was there, it was like it was a crazy journey for me there. So it was like I grew as a man, became to who I am, and it just wasn't like at the time it just was meant for me to have a new fit and just like everybody like people in life had changes in life. So I felt like that was one of the things for me that I needed to change and just get away and just try to focus on myself a little bit more. You mentioned you've been really following the team as far as South Carolina, keeping up with them, your old squad. And now they're headed to the first NCAA tournament game since 2017. They got a program record 25 wins. What do you think as far as your interpretation of this historic season for South Carolina? That, that's dope, man. I, I appreciate those. I mean, like, I, I, like I said, I still watch them to this day. I still like, like love everything that the coach did. Like, which is like he wasn't my coach, but I like appreciate that he like how he kept the tradition going for like for the because South Carolina kind of known like for to be underdogs, but I feel like they did a great job like of picking like not saying like we still here like cause when I was there I always finished like fourth kind of fifth which in the SEC so it was kind of like it was kind of it's kind of dope as far as just seeing them doing great. And what are you going to tell yourself mentally to try to keep some of the emotional parts of it out of it? Because, you know, your old team for three years, I mean, you spent more time there than with the Ducks. Right, right. And it's like, and that's, that's, that was the biggest thing for me. Just that was the thing for me today. Just learn how to keep my head the whole time. And just because I know it's like, even if like they didn't do anything, it just been a competitor. Like you just want to like, like prove, like you just want to like show that like you've been working on yourself. Just you could become a better person than you was when you was there. It's just that was, that was the biggest thing for me. All right? So it's just for me, I know it's gonna be a lot of emotion. So for both of us, it's just so I've been through a lot with those two guys on, on the other side. So. Kuznard will try to keep those emotions under control. A difficult task playing against his former team, the Gamecocks, although different coaches in his era, Frank Martin and now Lamont Paris. And if Coach Paris can win this game, he would be just the third coach in Gamecocks history to win a game in the NCAA tournament. We'll have all the coverage on air and online from this first round matchup on Fox Carolina. For now, for Fox Carolina Sports, I'm Carmine Jume. Cool storyline to watch there. The 6 seed South Carolina tips off against the 11 seed Oregon at 4 o'clock tomorrow in Pittsburgh. And as Kermit mentioned, we've got you covered right here on air and online.